people, it's me, Jilla1234 Forever, it was long and short, Valentine's Day, hairstyles for your doll, take a million. Okay, so let's just get the tripod standing upright. Literally, the studio is a mess, guys. So I'm trying not to get it in because it's so messy. So today I've got my wonderful doll Elizabeth to demonstrate the first hairstyle. You saw the first hairstyle in the first part of this video. And I'm just taking it out now because, yeah. Right. So, first of all, you're going to want to use a brush to brush out your doll's hair because nobody likes having messy doll hair, okay? Nobody. You're going to want to brush out your doll's hair so it's beautiful. Her hair is always beautiful. And for this, you're going to want to use some kind of bow or some kind of thing. Bobby pins, hair ties, and yeah, and your brush, like I said. So first of all, you're going to want to take a section of your doll's hair. Okay, so a small section, not too big, just big enough to do a braid on. We're starting to rotate now. Right, and you're just going to want to take the small bit of hair. And you're going to want to comb it out. Okay. And then you want to put it to one side. With the rest of the hair, you're going to want to gather it all up, comb it, put it together, and just put it in a very simple ponytail. You can put it in any ponytail. You can put it in a high ponytail, you can put it in a twist ponytail. You can put it in any ponytail you want, as long as it's a ponytail. Okay, and you're going to want to tighten it up. Comb it out again. So you have a painter. Now you're going to want to come back around to this bit of hair. And you're going to want to comb it and comb it until it's nice and soft. Now, you, the reason why I said that it needs to be big enough for a baby is because you get it. So, where you can go, like a little bit of a Or if you want, I'll put a tutorial on the link. If there's any split ends, you can cut your doll's split ends, but I'm not going to. Elizabeth, like I said, all my dolls are pre-owned, so yeah. So for this bit, you're going to want to grab the braid and you're going to want to fold it over. Can you see? It's kind of like the woman cancer sign thing. Oh, it's Lent tomorrow. What have you given up for Lent? Comment in the section below. I've given up chocolate. But do you know what's really funny? I always lose weight at this time of the year and then I gain it back on at Easter. It's because I eat so much chocolate. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna wanna put the, a bobby pin in like that kind of bit. Put it there. So that's hooped through. And now you have like a little hoop. It's like a bow. Turn over to your ponytail, grab the bow that you want, I'm using this beautiful grey one, I got it for a pound, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it matches the theme of a bow. Turn it around, and you have a beautiful bow, and you have a bow inside your doll's head, it's absolutely fun, double is cool, and I love this, it is so cute. Let's move on to the next long hairstyle. Okay, I hope you enjoyed doing the braided side bun. So again, <laughs> cut the hair into about... Well, it depends how... Oh! Tripod nearly fell over. <laughs> how many times has that happened this week? Right, sorry. Depends how much uh, hair your doll has. So I've been able to use part mine into about five bits. 
And you can want, it doesn't matter where you start braiding, if you start at the end or in the middle, I'm just starting in the middle. Uh, you can braid your doll's hair. So you're going to want to put them over each other as if you're going to start braiding them. And you're going to want to turn them on, you're going to want to turn them on, you're going to want to turn them on. And wrap them around. So they go into a bun. You can have a side bun. I thought it was going to be a side bun, but it's not. It's going to be a centre bun. Now you're going to want to grab a hair tie. It doesn't have to be a clear one. If you're using hair elastics, uh, more chance they're going to break. So I'm using on one. Okay, and you're going to want to braid it. So now you're going to want to grab some more hair. And you're going to want to braid that. You're going to want to just grab the last bit of hair from this side as well and start braiding. Okay, so I had to braid the other side because I ran out of room on my memory card. But you see what I've done? I braided it and I wrapped it around again. So it's detail on both sides. And I used a red hair tie just to give it some effect. So if you have some spare hair left over, like I said, what you can do is you can bring it up as if to be a hoop. And then you're going to want to put the end. Hang on, let me try that. Again, you're going to want to put the end through. And you're going to want to make a knot. And you're going to want to do the same thing. So you have like two knots. Can you see my knots? Okay, and now you're gonna want to put that over the head. Can you see over the head? And you're gonna want to bobby pin it, pin it or whatever you say. And so it looks like you've got like two little bumpy bits going over the top of the head. And that is the braided bun it's so cute it's easy and it's quick you by the way you can use these hairstyles on yourself you know they, they're not just for your doll so let's move on to short hairstyles yay so hi i'm back i have kits now kit uh, kit 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 what's the name kit kit Rouge, that's it and i am going to show you two easy hairstyles for kit okay Oopsie. So first of all, you're going to want to comb out your doll's hair nicely. Okay, and for this bit, you're going to want to grab two bits outside your doll's hair. So it's like that. Right, so it's like that. And you're going to want to comb the doll's hair. And you're going to want to lift up a piece from the middle. Can you see? So there's two bits left and there's a bit in the middle. And then you're going to start breaking. Let me try that bit again. Oh, sorry, I've done it wrong. That's a different hairstyle. I am really sorry about that. You're going to want to braid the middle bit of the top layer. These hairstyles involve a lot of braids, can I just say? <laughs> and because Kit's hair is so short, it's easy to do.
don't even want to use a hair tie. To tie up. Okay, so now as if a quiff, you're going to lift up the doll's hair and you're going to want to wrap it around to make like a bit of a mini bun. On top of your doll's head, but it makes like a nice little coil. And then when you turn your doll's head around to the front, and this is like little thing sticking up there. It's really cute, it's easy, and I personally love this hairstyle. Let's do another one. <laughs> Sorry, I was just singing a minute there for some reason. Right, DOE. Uh, for this hairstyle, it is generally easy. It's perfect for Kit because for some reason it makes her eyes go small and it's so cute. You don't want to leave a bit of Kit, Kit's hair out at, at ease the side, so you've got two bits there. And you're going to want to put it into a bun. And you're probably thinking, how can you do a bun on small hair? All you have to do is you put the hair elastic on as if to do a ponytail. And when you're going through it the second time to make the ponytail tighter, don't pull it all the way through. Okay. So don't pull it all the way through. And it makes like a very tiny bun, but it is so cute. Then grab any bits at the side that were left extra. Like for instance, all this. Twizzle it. So just turn it, don't read it, just twizzle it. And pin it to the side. It makes okay that was that for that hairstyle i'm ever so sorry for the sudden ending uh my camera well my memory card ran out of room so that is it for uh today's video i really hope you enjoyed it please comment down below your favorite hairstyle bye for now guys bye